I'm interested in people and antiques. I'm interested in history in the past. The future isn't that exciting for me. <laughs> I was an auctioneer uh, in European works of art after I'd sold cattle and sheep for a long time. And then I went to a company called Spink when I was in my early 20s. Chinese art absorbed me, I didn't know why. I fell in love with it and I've stayed with it. I think being a good dealer, you have to have obviously knowledge of your subject. Oh, there's my jade book here. This one. This was a brief period of mental vigor I had in the early 90s. Jade is like a beautiful woman. It should be held firmly but gently. Often you have to advise people. You can't involve your clients in the buying and selling of wrong things. That's the bronze that I bought at Sotheby's for over $8 million. It was very frenzied. The local people felt they shouldn't sell, and we got the bronze very quickly out of New York in case there was trouble. But it's not always the highest price thing that is the favorite deal. It's often just that quirky, strange thing, and the relationship between the collector. This is Herbert and Florence Irving. I sold him a lacquer dish off my desk. And I remember rambling as I tend to ramble and go on. And Mr. Irving said to me, you, you can shut up now, I've bought it. And, and there we had a wonderful relationship, which has continued to this day. An art collector, they come in many forms, many animals, many species. That's T.T. Choi, who gave a million pounds to the, to the Victorian Albert Museum. I think it was 1.25 because they let him stay late one night. I think Prince Charles was interesting in that he was fascinated to how old the bronzes at Compton Verney were when he opened the museum. The bronzes that gave you the right to rule, the bronzes that gave you authority. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm a terrible hoarder, I'm afraid. My collection, or our collection, which I've collected to a certain extent with Miranda over the years, I think it shows a versatility of taste and a spread of interest. They're old sunglasses. They look better on me. What are they, about 1900, I think they are. You know, about turn of the century. But um, they're really cool. That's Miranda, my great treasure, and my wife. <laughs> I hope the pieces that I'm selling will go to people who appreciate them. I'm saying goodbye to some things I wish I wasn't saying goodbye to. But they are possessions, they're not people. We acquire these things and we pass them on. It's not to nine to five. It is very stressful at times, but it is, it is an absorbing, addictive game to get into. And so it goes on.